So guys, what's going on? I hope you guys are well. I hope you guys are keeping safe. Um, good news. Looks like we're going to be coming out of a lockdown, um, which is obviously great news. Um, we've, we're hearing now that fans might come back into stadiums in around May. However, I would pump the brakes because I've just seen some articles, read some articles where, you know, they say not so fast. Not so, so fast. Um, there could be some twists and turns. Hopefully not, but, you know, let's just let's just see what happens. Let's see how this all plays out. Um, but hopefully, you know, things turn out for the better. But let me get straight into it. Listen, I've just seen a... Um, I've just seen an um, article from Justin Fortune. Or not, not, well, Fortune didn't write it, but, he, you know, he was being interviewed and he said Manny Pacquiao would beat Errol Spence. Um, he would overcome Errol Spence. <sighs> Listen, I'm, I'm a big Pacquiao fan. Uh, I've supported Pacquiao for a very long time. Uh, he was one of the guys that inspired me in the sense that, you know, his style was one of my favorite styles. You know, him, you know, I would definitely say him and Khan were the reasons I started watching boxing. I think their styles in terms of fast tan, fast feet were just beautiful. I, I used to love watching it. I used to love watching them fight. Um, stylistically, I just love fight. I just love like fighters like that. You know, that like, really fast hands, fast feet, just fast. You know, it's just a beautiful thing to watch. And that's why I love both of them so much. Obviously, Pacquiao, Khan, didn't ever, Khan wasn't able to hit the levels that Pacquiao hit. Pacquiao was an all-time great, but still Khan was a good fighter, a very good fighter. And, you know, uh, he was good in, his, good in his own way, very good British fighter. But Pacquiao's obviously a legend and an all-time great who reached very, very high heights. Um, and all of you that have been watching my channel know that I'm a big Pacquiao fan. I like Manny Pacquiao, but I have to I have to disagree with Justin Fortuna here. Um, Manny Pacquiao right now is 42 years of age. He's been out of the ring for a very long time. The hardcore Pacquiao fans will say he beat Spence. I don't think he can. I'm going to be brutally honest. You don't understand how it, it hurts me saying that because I believe Pacquiao would have beaten Spence comfortably in his prime. You know, when you look at some of the guys that he beat and how comfortably he beat them, he beat legends and he beat them so com he beat some legendary fighters and he beat them so so comfortably. Pacquiao did like Pacquiao obliterated Mar Cotto, Co Margarito. Like Cotto, like the reason that Cotto fight was so impressive, he just literally battered him. You know that that was startling for him to beat Cotto like that. Cotto was such a good fighter, and for him to beat him the way he did was. Clinical. It was unbelievable. And you know when Pacquiao was dismantling these guys, it was beautiful to watch. Even though at times it got so gruesome where you wanted the referee just to jump in and stop the fight. Especially the Margarito fight. Pacquiao really battered Margarito. That was a horrible... I, the, I, there were stages in that fight where it got horrible to watch. Because Pacquiao was just literally obliterating that guy. But in terms of him now fighting Errol Spence... I don't. I can't see him winning. You know, I, I'm gonna be brutally honest. If that fight was to be made, I, I'm picking Spence quite handily. I don't think a 42 year old Manny Pacquiao can beat Spence. I don't. Um, I I I just don't. I don't. I think it. I think it's too late. Yes, prime, but he's not the fighter he once was. You know, we saw against Thurman him declining. We saw against Thurman that his. You know, towards the later end in, in that fight, he started to tire and we could see the mother nature taking its course. Um, I don't particularly think Manny wants fights with Spence, if I'm honest with you. I think he prefers the Crawford fight just because I think he looks at Crawford and thinks that the guy's not too big. Um, he maybe sees vulnerabilities in terms of his chin. Uh, Spence, again, is like a got a granite chin as well. So that's another another difficulty that Pacquiao is going to overcome. There's going to be struggle. He's going to struggle to hurt him. Justin Fortune does say a lot of outlandish things. I've seen him say that he obliterates Spence. And, you know, I've seen him say things in the past which I've found kind of eyebrow raising, you know. So this isn't the first time that he said, you know, something that I don't necessarily agree with. Um, but I do think Manny now is, is, is looking for 
big paydays, looking for uh, guys that are credible, but guys that are going to give him big paydays. And I don't know whether he wants to fight Errol Spence. I don't think he should fight Errol Spence. Personally, I don't want to see Manny Pacquiao fight Errol Spence. I don't think that's a comfortable fight. You know, I can see how he can try to beat him, but it's a very dangerous, dangerous task. You know, Spence right now is on top of his game. He's young, he's fresh. You know, it doesn't normally... End, like, there's only... Listen, at the end of the day, we're all human, right? Pacquiao's a legend and a great... Yes, I get that, but there's only so much Pacquiao can do. He's only human at the end of the day. And um, Thurman pushed him really hard. He managed to get through that. But again, Thurman in the fight before... Think about it. When you think about it, right? Thurman in the fight before was almost knocked out by Lopez. Right? Lopez almost had him out. Now, Pacquiao's a way better fighter than Lopez. Even 42-year-old Pacquiao's way better than Lopez. So going off that fight, you'd say that Manny... Thinking about it, I know even though a lot of people had Manny Pacquiao losing that fight... Uh, they thought he would lose to Thurman, but you know Manny Pacquiao surprised and showed even at 41 or whatever he was, he was still so good. But I, I do think Spence. I, I've always I've always thought Spence is better than Thurman, even though you know it's a good fight. But I, I don't think Spence. I don't think Thurman beats Spence, and I think it's very hard. I, I, I do. I think at this age, man, you can only how, how far can you go uh, at that age? You know, you, we've seen. So many fighters that age beats you. Bernard Hopkins fought till 50 and eventually he got beat by a guy that wouldn't have beat him in his prime. You know, age... Age is age, man. Age is age. Mother Nature takes its course. You're going to get old, man. You're going to go over the hill. Pacquiao now is past his prime. He might still be a great fighter. He might still be a world-class, top-level fighter. But he's not. He's not the fighter he once was. And in order to beat someone like young, hungry, determined... Someone like Spence, you've got to be, you've got to be in your prime, you know, you've got to be in your prime, and I don't think Manny Pacquiao is anymore. Manny Pacquiao is not the same Manny Pacquiao, that the killer Manny Pacquiao we saw ten years ago, the one that was walking through Cotto. That Manny Pacquiao beats anybody, but this Manny Pacquiao is more vulnerable. This Pacquiao, this Pacquiao isn't the same Pacquiao. Still great, but still, still just not the fighter he once was, and. And a Spence fight with his strength, his size, his boxing skill, that's a hard fight, man. Hard fight. It's a torturous fight. And I really, I wouldn't want to see Manny Pacquiao. See, the thing is with the Crawford fight, I think Crawford is the kind of fighter where he'll kind of pick you apart and maybe win a points decision. Right? Against someone like Pacquiao. I don't see him stopping Manny Pacquiao. With Spence, I can see Spence like brutally stopping him, you know what I mean, where it gets ugly. If Manny Pacquiao was to pull that Spence fight off, ah, that would, that would, wow. That would be some, that would be probably one of the greatest achievements, one of the greatest achievements in a boxing ring for a 42 or 3 year old to beat uh, Errol Spence, who's in his prime, young, fresh, undefeated. That would be some achievement. A unified champion, unified welterweight world champion. That would be some achievement. That would be an incredible achievement. And I'd be doubting him. I picked Manny Pacquiao to beat Keith Thurman. Although a lot of people were saying Thurman wins, I picked Manny Pacquiao to win that fight. However, I would be picking against Manny Pacquiao if this fight was to happen. This would probably be the... I, I can't remember the this... I can't remember a time where I picked against Manny Pacquiao. I would be picking against him, against Spence. I would. I would be picking against him. I'll be picking against Manny for Spence to win. I think Spence probably by stoppage as well. I'll probably pick him by stoppage. Um, I think that that pressure, that relentlessness, you know, that size, that strength, power he's got, I, I think it would get to Manny Pacquiao. I do. I do. See, the problem is, here's the thing, with Manny Pacquiao in his prime, he was so fast and so powerful, is that a lot of guys, a lot of great fighters just won't, they were just too worried about what he was throwing at them. He, they, were, he, they were too worried about what, he, what was coming their way, rather than focusing on putting some offense together. Manny Pacquiao was so devastating that... The fighter was just worried about not getting hit because this guy was so fast and, it, and he was powerful. It was like bricks coming at you. 
and at speed. Imagine someone throwing bricks at you with speed. You know, you're gonna be, you're gonna be, you're gonna become gun shy because those punches are hurting and they're hitting you in combination. They're hitting you not just one punch. You're looking at four or five punches coming at you, hitting you accurate. There's a saying, speed kills, and Manny Pacquiao had some insane speed. And um, that version of Manny Pacquiao, he would obliterate Spence. But this version of Manny Pacquiao, I believe Spence beats him comfortably. Um, and that's... I've got... There's a guy that actually thinks that Pacquiao even now beats Spence. Generally, there's a guy... There's people that think Pacquiao beats them all. There's still people. There's still not just Filipinos. Other people. Uh, that just shows how great Pacquiao is. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna be realistic now because I just think there comes a point in anyone's life that enough's enough in the sense that of how far you can go. You know how how great you can be. I think it comes to a point where we all start falling on the other side. And you know, I for me Manny Pacquiao can't. I don't feel he can beat Errol Spence um, at this stage. Uh, I think he's got to that point where he'd finally find his match. Even at this age, he'd find somebody that would topple him. Um, so, yeah, I think it would be difficult. I think it would be very difficult for Manny Pacquiao to topple Errol Spence. But who knows, man, it's boxing. Anything can happen. You know, Spence, had a, Spence looks so good against Danny Garcia. You know, he looked so good, um, made it look so easy. You know, a lot of people thought Garcia would trouble him, but he made it look so comfortable. And yeah, so I would pick Spence. What would you guys? I know a lot of you guys are going to say Manny Pac Pacquiao knocks him out. But if we're looking at it realistically, um, I, think it'd be, I think it's a difficult fight for Pac-Man. I do um, at this stage. But, you know, I'll, I'll, listen, if, if there's anyone that I, I would want to pull off an upset, because it would be an upset, it's Manny Pacquiao doing this. Manny Pacquiao would put himself in a league of his own if he was to beat someone like Spence or Crawford. He would def definitely put himself in a league of his own. I don't think he wants to fight. I don't think he will fight Errol Spence just because I think Errol Spence's um, style would be horrible right now at this age for Manny. I think if he's going to fight one of Spencer Crawford, it's going to be Crawford because Crawford's not as physically as strong. He's not as big. Uh, he's, he's a smaller man. So I think Pacquiao would opt for that option than face uh, Errol Spence. But leave your thoughts. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Do you agree, disagree? Leave your thoughts. And guys, remember to please like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.